Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Luma AI to animate consistent characters. Luma AI Dream Machine Tutorial. And right here, I have a video about Luma AI already, but there is a new feature that was recently released in Luma that I really want to share with you guys. It's a really powerful feature here. It involves text frames and keyframes. Now, to sign up with this one, simply click Try Now. Try your dummy Google account, and I'll see you once inside. So welcome back to the video. Right now, the new feature here is very awesome, but before we get into it, I want to show you about the pricing, just to notify you how it much it looks like. Now, this is the pricing right here. Yearly is 20% off, take note about that one. And these are the monthly. Now, I have 27 of the 30 generations remaining for the month because I am using a free plan. Now, going back on the landing page, to successfully use this new machine right here, Basically, click on that icon. Again, guys, it's that image or calendar icon. And then add in your keyframes. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you my keyframes here. Where's my first one? Give me a second here. So first one's right this one. A guy in a jungle. Second one is this guy right here. So I'm going to use two keyframes. My first one will be this one right here on the left side. The last one is the awesome, powerful fire guy on the right. But basically the same guy right there. And by the way, I have created those using Midjourney. I just I'm going to show you how to create those consistent characters also later on the video. Now simply click on this album icon and I'm going to add in my first frame. As you can see, there is an option now to add your end frame. I'm going to add it up right here, which is going to be this guy right there. And now, upon trial, I always remove this one. Even though it says enhanced prompt, I figure out upon trial that it gives you so much movement. In a way, it is going to be an error or looking weird. So I'm going to say it as it is. Do not add any prompt. That is my suggestion for you. So just enter it. Basically, just wait for it to finish now. And I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, as you can see on my background, this is the loop video we have. Look how seamless it is. It's like it's just looking at you first and then the second guy came out of nowhere. Take note, these two are just photos to begin with. And that is really awesome how powerful and seamless this video is. And let's create some more examples. Now before we create some more examples, as promised, I'm going to show you how to successfully create consistent characters in Midjourney. So by the way guys, this is Midjourney on the website itself. You can use the Discord server or the application. But for this video, we're going to utilize this website. As you can see here, I have did a lot of images here. But these are the samples I have. And now, the secret here is going to be using references. Now first, generate a simple photo. A simple woman photo that you can get in any photo you have. If you don't want to try it mid-journey, you can use Pexels. So click a new tab, type in pexels.com here. Choose photo. I'm just going to type in here, let's just say, a blonde woman. So I can get the key features. So that is going to have... Download it properly. Going back in mid journey, this one we have now a sample reference. So click on this one. Make sure you click on that icon right there. And then you'll see the sample reference I have before. But for now, I'm going to use the one I got from Pexel. This woman right here. Take note, guys, Pexel is a royalty free website, also Pixel Bay. So please utilize them. So make sure you click on this one. And then once you have successfully uploaded it, on your prompt bar or prompt search bar if you may make sure you click on this little icon the one that looks like a profile photo by default this guy right here so this is going to be character reference because i'm going to show you a prompt later on a code that will not work unless you click this one you know you have successfully clicked it if you have that logo on the right side now next up as i press practice that i always say in generating prompts to reference photo try to describe the photo itself as much as possible so i'm gonna type in a young woman with blonde hair period and then i'm gonna add in dash dash cw 25 this is character read this is the code that i was saying earlier that will not work unless you have enabled that um for the reference code earlier the little guy right there by the way here is gonna be the sample reference for character weight so character is basically CW, values between 0 to 10. By default, you have 0 if you're not using it. Higher followers reference image more closely. 
lower gives more creativity over clothing, hairstyle, and environment. Please take note about that one. So I'm gonna go with the middle, around 25, and click on enter. By the way guys, this will take around few minutes. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. These are very consistent characters now. Now that's gonna be step one for you to create consistent characters. Basically, use this code that has CW and make sure you click that option right there, the little guy. Now let's try in the same idea here. So same prompt, same photo. I'm just gonna click on this one. Can't forget about the little guy. And now with this one, I'm gonna type in the next keyframe. So a young blood woman with blonde hair. I'm gonna type in here with glowing red eyes has fire powers i think that's good enough now i'm gonna click simply dash dash cw 25 and click on enter now welcome back to the video right now this is gonna be our new generations now the last one looks really good i'm just gonna save this one and now let's try creating last um reference here so i'm gonna use the same prompt Use the same photo here, of course. We cannot forget about the little guy. And now I'm going to type in a specific prompt that gives me a zoom out feature. I'm going to type in he is, or she rather, sorry about that. She is wearing a black top with black pants. Now the key here is, I've said black pants. So mid journey will give me a zoom out full body shot with this one. And I think I'm good with this. I'm going to click on enter. Let me just fix this one. Click on answer and I'll see you once it's here. Now, welcome back to the video. Right now, we have these four awesome generations. And notice the first one is zoom in, the last one right here is zoom out because we accepted these are pants and the top top. So, I'm gonna type in or save this photo right here. And now I can use these three photos I have, starting from this one, moving over to this one, and this one right there. I can create via Luma this two right here, and then the second one to the third one. So basically, I created a short video regarding these three photos. I'm going to go to Luma now. So welcome back to the video. Right now, the first one right here will be the first two photos. Let me just pull them up so you can have a visual. So this woman right here and this woman right here. These two photos are going to be my first two keyframes, which is now being generated, as you see right here. Last one will be these two right here. And basically join them all together via a photo editor or a video editor, a third party application. That's going to be by your own choosing, but for now we're going to focus solely on Luma. So I'm going to type in this and then since I already have this one to the second one, I'm now going to utilize the second one to the third one. And basically make sure you remove this one, it will generate faster. And then simply make it sure it is also good. So welcome back to the video. Right now, this is going to be the last part of our first trial. As you can see, it's currently an awesome zoom out video. By the way, guys, this is the first one. Starting from a normal girl, becoming a fire goddess. Continuing with a zoom out smoke in the background, fire power goddess. So it's simply download this one and then just simply combine the two. You can use CupCut, Filmora, Adobe Photoshop, or any other video editor tools out there. Just basically combine them both. To make one awesome video now speaking of generating consistent characters let's go back on mid journey now welcome back to mid journey let me just remove that one perfect now since we have tried creating a super powered woman what if we try and change the background while maintaining the character so let me just type in here my special prompt please notice that i have added a specific location so i'm gonna add in here photo of a blonde woman like so and then I'm simply going to add our reference. So don't forget the little guy. Simply click on enter now. I'm just copy this one. Perfect. Same drill. I'm just going to add in the reference again. Of course, the little guy cannot be forgotten. So this one, I think I'm going to utilize this part right here. Perfectly right there. So photo of a blonde woman wearing. Let me just remove this one. Perfect. So Photo of a blonde woman wearing a Japanese kumono. She is in Japanese garden. Click on answer. So I have two samples photo here. Starting from the first four right here. They're currently in downtown New York. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. Pretty awesome. So I'm going to save this one. And now we have four new photos here in a Japanese kimono. 
So I think I'm gonna go with this woman right here. Much more um, enticing because it has a different angle. Because I really want to try the limits of Luma. I'm gonna go back in Luma now. Now once we're back in Luma, same drill guys. Let me just add this one, the first part. And then add the end frame. So I'm gonna try this one because it's a different method here. Let me enhance prompt. So starting from Manhattan, we're gonna go to Japanese Kimono. And I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now this is gonna be your output. And as you can see from New York, the woman went to Japan in a Japanese kimono. Please notify or notice how powerful the transition regarding her clothes is. Even the eye movement, the consistency of the hair, everything is really good. Now this is what I say cinematic level. Also, please take note that as a reminder, do not click the enhance button. I will show you some examples that I created using the enhance button that gave me a weird result. So this right here, this guy right there, is created by Enhance Button. As you can see, it looks a little weird, because um, coming from laying down, it went up, and there's so much movement. But the fire is good. The fire background is awesome, right? Let's try one more example. This guy right here. This is the weirdest of them all. I really don't like the example here. But for this one, this is actually really good. The transition of circling motion going back here, it is actually acceptable. So all three right here are created by enhanced button. But this girl right here is the one I started without using the enhanced button. So I got that smooth transition from looking to the left from looking straight forward. And the enhanced background going from Egypt to New York. Awesome, right? And now let's talk about mid journey because I want to show you something very important. So these are the image I created earlier, right? Especially this for right here. And as you can see, they have a very minimal facial expression, especially this one. What if I want to make her smile? Simply click on the repaint button here, like so. And as you can see, I have already repainted it. And now let me just remove this one. Give me a second here. I'm going to choose another example. How about this woman right here? So click on repaint. And then with this one, you have two options. You have the lasso or the box option. For the lasso, either way, they're the same thing. Just make sure everything is going to be selected perfectly right there. And then change the prompt. So photo of a blonde woman, smiling, and happy. And then as you can see, you already have your reference photo enabled. So that's perfect. So we click on submit and click on close. So I'm going to get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, keeping the same background, we have created similar photos with consistent characters with different facial expressions. For example, this one right here. I'm gonna save this one as a sample. And using the first sample we had from earlier, I think I'm gonna get this woman right here. It's much more similar than the one earlier. Also this one. This is the one we repainted, right? Give me a second here to save. And now, let's go to Luma. So going back in Luma, same drill. We're gonna apply the facial expression which is gonna be blank. I think I'm gonna go with this woman right here and then add the end frame which is the new generated photo with smiling features again remove this one that is actually a trap it's not really working so click in it and I'll see you once it's here so welcome back to the video so be honest that took roughly an hour to finish generating this one and basically let's try and check it so this is the facial expressions changes and as you can see the background is still the same however the facial expression is different we have made her smile, we have made her surprise, but there is a bit of distortion. Let's try this second example I have. This is much more weird looking, and basically that's the limit of Luma. Even though it's gonna be a good one, there is still a limit since this is still AI. But, still, we have made her smile. Starting from this one, it's much more wither, but the last one is much more better. But I have one more example here to check it out, so let me just go to it right now. So this is the last example I have, which actually pretty seamless, starting from serious face with little distortion to a perfect smiling face. Again guys, this is the power of Luma, and I have already taught you how to get consistent characters in Mid Journey, so please check them out. Anyway, that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.